It's been over a week since the coronation of King Charles and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have just been spotted for the first time together since the big event. The couple were snapped heading for a fun date night close to their Montecito home in California at the weekend. Also in attendance at the sushi bar restaurant in Santa Barbara, not far from the Duke and Duchess home in California, were Gwyneth Paltrow and husband Brad Falchuk and Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden. Meghan had stayed at home while her husband made the dash to the UK for his father's coronation with their kids Princess Lilibet and Prince Archie, who turned four the same day as his grandfather's momentous event. But the former Suits actress was ready to mingle at the weekend when she headed for the dinner with her celeb pals, which was also attended by the founder of Bumble, Whitney Wolf Hurd, and her husband, Michael Hurd. In pictures obtained by the mirror, Meghan wore a brown Heidi Merrick mini dress and a pair of Hermes brown leather sliders. She also sported a white bucket bag from Sesta Collective and had her hair in a ponytail. Harry wore relaxed white trousers, a plain black t-shirt and brown suede shoes. Last week we reported Meghan had been spotted in public for the first time since she skipped the coronation but she wasn't with Prince Harry. A source had suggested that Meghan believed it would have been inauthentic to attend the monumental occasion on Saturday. Meghan was spotted on a hike with her pals in Montecito for the first time since King Charles and Queen Camilla were officially crowned. The former actress was out having fun with friends Marcus Anderson and Heather Dorock, whom she's reportedly known for many years. Despite the recent coronation drama over her and Harry's attendance, Meghan seemed very cheery on her stroll, just one day after the crowning and her son's birthday. A source told the Mail on Sunday that Meghan wanted to stay at home to celebrate her son's birthday as she felt it would be inauthentic for her to choose to do anything else. The source said, she wanted to minimize the drama. The monarch is also said to be understanding of Meghan's absence at the historical ceremony as the mum of two held a low-key birthday party for Archie and it's believed Harry was able to make it home in time to join in on the celebrations. Meanwhile, it's been speculated that Harry was speaking about his wife during a conversation with Princess Eugenie's husband, Jack Brooks Bank at the coronation. The Duke was placed beside his cousin's spouse and Princess Alexandra, the cousin of the late Queen during the ceremony. Before the ceremony began, Harry was seen having a deep chat with Jack, who seemed to sympathize with his cousin-in-law. A lip reader suspects that Harry replied to an unknown question from Jack which was referring to Meghan, saying, No, she's at. While tilting his head, Jack supposedly asked, and is she? While Harry nodded his to confirm, replying, it's not ideal. Their suspected conversation continues as Jack is believed to have told Harry, if it makes, you, feel any better even I can do it. It's not quite the life, is it? The Duke then shook his head as Jack seemingly said, I haven't had time for that, not if it's over. Harry is then believed to have made a very cryptic comment, saying, it's an eventuality. The expert also picked up on the moment where Jack asked Harry, the meeting? Speaking to the Daily Star, the lip reader claims Harry replied, it's sad. I'm fed up, I've tried talking to him. Harry made the coronation but he missed out on a Buckingham Palace lunch with the family and also didn't attend the coronation concert on Sunday evening as he flew back to the States.
Melting.